Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for the scrap room and I am gonna play along with a Freaky Fast Friday challenge. And I'm gonna use this kit. Let me show it to you. It's a flavors of the month kit. It's one of the four. And let's see, I have two pieces of coconut swirl basil. So super smooth and nice quality, like nice weight to it. This is Pink Fresh Picture Perfect. I write your story. Guys, look at look at these three colors right here. Okay, anywho, this one's called Write Your Story. This one, this chartreuse one, is called Create Joy. And then finally, we have Cherish Today. Oh, the florals, the florals, and my very favorite color right there. Now for goodies, I've got some adorable frames, a couple, and these are chipboard. There's frames and then little chipboard pieces. I've got glorious colored enamel dots and some ephemera bits. So that is super fun. Now the photo I'm gonna use is this photo right here. This is my daughter, her fiance, and one of the wonderful people that is in her wedding party. And this was at her wedding shower the other day. So that's what we have there. Now, the Freaky Fast Friday formula is, and I came up with it, so I'm sorry y'all. <laughs> I need to have three two by nines, two by nine inch pieces, three three and a half inch circles, and three one by two inch pieces. So let's start with this. We know we can use the coconut swirl cardstock, easy peasy lemon squeezy for a background. So once again, I'm going to cut it at my favorite size to 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter and just hope that the pattern paper kit has something that's going to bring the whole thing together. I have faith, they've never done me wrong. Okay, so then the next thing I want to do is I want to figure out what the three two by nines are. All right, I'm gonna put this piece to the side. Two by nines, two by nines. Oh, okay, okay. Can I really, guys, I did not plan this. I had to give my the Freaky Fast Friday formula um, to the Grand Poobah like weeks ago before I even knew what these kits are, but this is going to do it. And I, y'all, it always works out. Now, this young lady is wearing a glorious shade, which is down here. So I'm thinking this shade, my daughter's in white, Nick was in both lavender and denim colors. So definitely want to grab this shade of pink right here, right? I might do the two pinks and I don't, I don't know. So let's say we have that. Let's see, what would two inches come out to be? Oh, so we're gonna have a little bit of the peachy shade too. Okay, cool. We're gonna have a little bit of the peach and then we're gonna go by nine. You know, the peach is not a bad call either. And the reason being is her uh, decor had this gorgeous like um, rose gold in it. So that's kind of a neat idea to go that route. So let me see if I did this one by nine. I mean, they have to be by nine because you know, that is part of the rules and regs. Is it gonna go, oh, and it goes to two inches, sweet. Uh, you know, the Freaky Fast Friday formula. Now here's the deal with the formula, guys. It just always works out. It does, it knows what it's doing. You just have to trust the formula. So I love that chartreuse color, but I think what I'm gonna do is see if I can grab a tiny bit of both. It gives us like, oh, well that's more than a tiny bit. It gives us that nice like, oh, we have some of this color and some of that color. Now. If I weren't doing the Freaky Fast Friday formula with this, I would have done some like serious uh, color matching because I love doing that with the pink fresh stripes. I always find them to be glorious. Okay, I've got lots of gorgeous pieces here. We'll see if we are going to enact them. Don't know. Now, let's see, we've got these three and there's no way around it. They're gonna be just absolutely stunning. So that makes me a happy, happy girl. I'm gonna separate out that peach a little bit only because, you know, I want lots of contrast. Now, y'all, the next thing to invoke is we need three, three and a half inch circles. I'm gonna to try to fussy cut these pieces out. So give me a second. Ooh, char, char, Okay, okay. 
Now, I so happen, y'all, I did this one on purpose, to have this three and a half inch circle. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to get three and a half out of these. It's so close. It's so close. I could cheat if I wanted to. But you know what? This is super calming compared to the other stuff. This might be my ticket. All right, let's see. Oh my, one, one, two, three on these. Not a big deal. Two, three. Not that it's calm, but compared to the rest of it, it's calm. Okay, so we've got three of those. Let's see what we think with that. Remember, I'm trying to save these for fussy cutting because it's my jam. So we've got three, we've got these three pieces. Then we've got a nice visual triangle with these. Love, love, love. Tend to like my plaids kind of on a diagonal if I can have them. So far I'm digging it. I am digging it. Love it. Okay. Then I need three half inch by two inch. And what I was thinking, so I was wondering how big my tab punch is or if I'm just gonna make my own because it's pretty darn easy to make them. So hold on, hold on. So I have this, <laughs> I just have this piece sitting right here. So let me just see what size it looks like when it's punched or else, you know, I'll just do what I gotta do. So it is, ooh, it's almost two by almost one. I am so cheating. Okay, so Nick is wearing blue. And so let's bring in some of this deeper blue to the party to, you know, let him have his moment. One, how great, guys. This is like, when you have these multicolor papers like this, but there's color blocking, you can totally go off and bring it to Geja. Well done. There we go. Love it. Love it. All right, so I have those and I'm going to tuck them in somehow into each of my clusters as well. Totally reinforcing the visual triangle vibe, right? Now, here's our question. Do I want to? Guys, there's so many ways I can go with this. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Look at it. I want to fussy cut these pieces out, which is going to give me some really bold floral clusters. Um, and, and this color really is picking up the vibe of her decor. There is a really nice, like dusty mauve kind of vibe on um, the table runners, all of it. So this is, it's coming together. It just is. So I'm going to spend like three days fussy cutting these out and I'll meet you right back here. So let's see what we have. I cut out, let's see, I've got these amazing florals guys we have to bend up the little leafy bits give them just a little bit more zhuzh not that it's going to be realistic but you know i just like the look it has a little bit more fun to it when i'm creating so super fun so let's see just going to start placing them and see what we have now i have big i can go slightly smaller with this one cute then i've got two smaller rosy colored ones rosy corally whatever and that one can be kind of smaller so we're already starting to see a fun vibe going here i have got to get that photo um i want these kind of off kilter i've got to get that photo matted i haven't done that yet i just get excited and then let's come in with something just a little bit lacier and we can go ahead and have that ticket kind of tucked in there that makes it more fun i think these are pretty much the same so same thing we can layer up our florals all kinds of pretty pretty and have a little bit of that blue sticking out love it and same thing over here okay great now things are going well that needs to be matted i know now let's see we have got, I'm gonna just take these two pieces off because if this thing gets stuck down, it is down. We can go ahead and use that as part of our mat, which I think will be gorgeous. Very nice. Gives us a little bit of like an extra kind of texture thing going on. We can have happy day tucked in. 
and then XOXO. Perfect. Now we've got more pretty, pretty gorgeous. This, ooh, another floral. Let's go ahead and put that. We've got a cute little tag. We've got this nice little like topiary piece. Let's go ahead and have that in this massive cluster. Let's see, the best day. Absolutely. Okay, I've got a nice bit of limey there. So let's do some limey there. <gasps> Another lime piece for celebrate this, which is perfect because it was a celebration day. So if I go like that, I can pop that one right there. And then, of course, enamel dots, guys, we will sprinkle everywhere at the end. Think, loving this memory, or love this memory. Hmm. Oops. Oh, guys, I did it. I did it. There we go. I'm going to go like that. Now, before I go much further, guys, I've got to tack this down. <laughs> All right, so that would be the layout with the flavors of the month kit songs. You know, that's. Let's take a look at the, what do I want to take a look at? At the pattern paper kit. So let me see, let me see. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, they're beautiful. Okay, sorry. Very exciting. This is picture perfect. It has all these great frames and stripies. And then this one, I love that pink. We have live in the moment. I already know. We will be matting and loving it. Okay, I love that. And I'm gonna mat my photo with this bit of bright, bright color. Okay, super excited. That is stunning. And you guys need to see more of this. There we go. So stunning. Okay, so then we did that. What does the Shots of Life kit have in... Oh, guys, every time I look, there's something even more beautiful to play with. Okay, so the Shots of Life kit has this baby blue. Oh my word. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Things, things are getting spicy. So I'm going to have a small mat with the pink and then the baby blue. It's called Made with Love. It's going to be our main mat. Oh, that's beautiful. And then y'all look at these. We've got puffies. I'm going to get all of these pieces down like we talked about. Then we'll talk about puffies as well as the embellishment kit. All right, so I've got those pieces tacked down like we discussed because we had a little bit of chaos going on. So I am liking fun layers and all of the pretty, pretty things. Now let's take a look at these gorgeous puppies. These, oh my gosh, look at that. Look at, oh, so pretty. Celebrate this. That's gorgeous right there. Okay, sorry. Little bit excited. So I kind of have titles and I kind of don't, but... We are just going to persevere with all of these pretties, like a little puffy maybe there. Let's see, this deep, deep, deep blue is gorgeous. We don't have a lot of it, so I feel like it needs to be tucked if we're gonna use it. There we go. Nice little tucky tucky of a puffy piece. And then this clock is rather pretty too. Let's go ahead and tuck that over here bringing in a little bit more of that chartreuse and some of that deep blue. So that, you know, we have it in a couple places and now it's okay because it's come around town. Okay, so celebrate this. We can do my happy place, celebrate this, my happy place. That's kind of cute for a title. Have a title tucked over here. I'm going to be missing that beautiful scallop, but we must sacrifice. We must sacrifice when we find a nice little pretty bit. Then I can put maybe a couple sweet little hearts there. Sprinkle some hearts around. Sorry, my sweatshirt might have just shown. I've got the cutest new little outfit I picked up at Marshall's. It's so comfy I'm wearing. I know. Lots of information. Very exciting. I'm going to put the heart there so I don't end up having to put it in a little string bit. Nice little tricky thing one can do. And then, oh, maybe I'll put a third there so it's like three little hearts. Then I was thinking at this event, I was taking down the coffee like it was my job. So let's go ahead and put that there. Okay, next, guys, let's take a look at the embellishment kit 
and see what we want to tuck in. Okay, so it looks like we have half of the stickers. And remember, I still have my enamel bag, so I have lots of things. <gasps> Fine joy. Well, it wasn't the ordinary. It was a whole event. So I, I just liked, I liked that little piece. I thought it was so pretty. Happy memories, the best is yet to come. That's kind of a nice sentiment, lime, lime, lime. Making sure that I have the colors spread around. Now here we have that same color that we have there. Thinking, is there a nice little spot? I don't know if there's a spot left. What if we did something like that, a little bit on the wonk, and then put that there? Cute, 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 cute. Love you most, made with love, made just for you. Happy day to you is awfully nice considering what this day was. Let me get some of these little Frankenstein bits that I have. By Frankenstein, I mean I just have these off cuts that kind of are stuck to things. Usually my lamp or my block right next to me. So I like that. So that's happy day and this is happy day to you. Is it a little bit extra at the best? I think I'll go up here because I don't want them in the same cluster. Oh, that's so cute. Layering up the things. Okay, the best days are. And then since we have those deep tones, the best days are the ones spent together. Well, we're not gonna show the whole thing though. So we're just gonna have the best days. Let me get a little foamy block because I want to put it behind there and have it partially stick up. So as long as we see the best days, that will do it for me. Cute. Cute. Guys, I just have to put some enamel dots on and this bad boy is done. It's pretty. So celebrate this. My happy place is my title. And I'm going to start. Let's see. Oh, let me put it here. A big one a medium one and a small one and then we'll do the same thing so we have one there so let's go kind of this way with it big medium small and then over here i have it here here how about way over here love all of these pieces I think they're so pretty and that little shine you get from enamel dots kind of like finishes the whole thing off it's one of those things it's so fun to add them at the end to be like oh hello all right I have three left so I'm gonna save these for my next time I use this kit for a layout but y'all that is that for the freaky fast Friday formula I had the three three and a half inch circles I had the three strips and the three, I think, one by twos that I cut right into tickets, which are blue. And believe it or not, they're on there. <laughs> they're just not quite as prominent. I'm going to have all the links down below, guys, for the Scrap Room website, the Facebook group, and the blog. So we will see you guys over there ever so soon. And still shots to follow, my friends. Bye for now.